Okay, so why did you want to get another Jeep? I always want to get another Jeep. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> we got the top down, cruising at 65. The engine's rolling. It's good to be alive. Welcome, Wanderers, to our new Jeep. <laughs> Out on the highway, oh yeah, we're free now. We watch the sun rise up, we watch the sun go down. On the open road, it's so inviting. On the open road, that's where you'll find me. We brought in 2023 by buying a Jeep yeah. on the last day of 2022. Yep, this is our New Year's resolution. <laughs> yeah, to get out more. <laughs> uh, well, here we go. First things first, we'll let you under the hood. Under the hood rod latch. Not really nice. <laughs> Broken. But other than that, everything under here looks really, really nice. Uh, no leaks, no bad smells. Everything sounds really nice. Engine not making any noises. But it wouldn't be a Jeep that we bought if it didn't have a few problems. Because we don't pay top dollar for anything. So everything we buy is going to need a few fixes. I think this Jeep is mostly cosmetic. Um, it's got a few problems with the paint here and there. The grill looks like they ran through a swarm of paint eating bugs at one time. <laughs> um, it's down to the primer in a lot of spots, but that's not really a concern for me. We'll, uh, we'll get that fixed up with some touch up paint or something. The hood's got some fading on it, which we've had a few of these Wranglers in the past and that's kind of a, a common issue with them. Uh, the little hook here for the windshield, if you ever lay it down, is broken, which we don't ever plan on laying our windshield down, so, you know, that's no big deal. It looks like it's got a new-ish top put on it, so... Overall, it's got really good bones the tires are decent they're not the greatest in the world but we're going to get those changed out pretty soon we've got something special planned for the tires and rims on this jeep we do yeah we do what is it it's a surprise yeah we may get the seats recovered and refoamed they're pretty flat the cushion for the original seats is pretty much gone on the driver's side it's a high mileage jeep it's got 201,000 miles on it so the seats have been well used at least the driver's seat for sure everything in here is dirty and gross and just look at the carpet it's supposed to be brown uh, but not those colors are brown 
It does have really nice uh, floor mats, the kind that hold the mud. Yeah, it's got really nice floor mats. The top seems to be in really decent shape. It's got the nice tinted windows that they got when they got the top. Like I said, paint issues here and there. All this is just cosmetic. It's got a good spare, spare rack. Here's some more of the seat damage back here. Yeah. No big deal though. And I like that the seat has that pocket right there for trail mats and stuff. That's yeah. nice. Okay, so why did you want to get another Jeep? I always want to get another Jeep. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, um, it's just, we got rid of our old Wrangler and we missed it. Yeah, so we regretted we it. We wanted another one. Do you have any big build plans with this Jeep? Not really. Just getting it cleaned up and reliable for trips and getting off the beaten path. Are we going to lift it? We might, but I, I don't think that's in the immediate future. Okay. Unless you just want to. Are we going to get a canoe rack for this Jeep? I figure we'll probably make a canoe trailer for this Jeep. It's hard to put a canoe rack on a soft top Jeep yeah. because you have to rack around the soft top. Mm -hmm. You can't connect, connect anything to the soft top. So we're uh, probably wind up with a small trailer of some sort for our canoes and bicycles and things like that. Um... Did it come with any extra accessories? It's got some aftermarket headlights in it that are very, very bright. We may leave those for running at night. Yeah, they um, are very bright. They, they look kind of odd to me, but it's worth it to have a little bit of extra. Because you know how Jeeps are at night with the regular headlights. You can barely see anything. So yeah. it is nice to have the brightness. Yeah, old incandescent bulbs are not the brightest anymore compared yeah. to newer technology. So what kind of trips do you imagine us taking in this Jeep? Well, I imagine it's taking the same kinds of trips that we usually take, mm -hmm. just a little more off-road. The Mustang is great. I love the Mustang. I love the convertible. But this, we can take the top off of and get off the beaten path. We can come out to places like this. The Mustang wouldn't have made it here where yeah, we are that's right true. now. Mm -hmm. um, we more dirt roads, I guess. Yeah, dirt gravel roads, roads, gravel roads, forest roads. Mm -hmm. Just getting off the beaten path. Maybe chase some waterfalls, see if we can't oh, yeah. do that for a few days. Mm -hmm. We do have a few trips planned. Um, we'll show you what we got. When we say trips planned, we mean we plan on taking them. <laughs> we yeah. don't have any kind of set schedule. But this is a brand new scratch off map that Texas State Parks put out for their 100th anniversary. And as you go to each map, you can scratch off. These are all scratch offs. And you can, there's a different color under each park. So as we visit them with the Jeep, we're going to scratch them off. And we'll have this in a frame or somewhere where we can see it. And we'll plan a trip and we'll, as we visit it with the Jeep, we'll scratch each one off. And we'll maybe make a little slideshow for y'all as we visit there. Um, maybe do some photos or something if yeah. it's not a big enough park to really do a full video. But we will show you scratching them off so you can see the colors revealed. And maybe you guys want to do the same thing with us. Um, get out and get one of these at the state park. How much was this? I think this is about $15. $15. But you can buy them on uh, TPWD's website. You don't actually have to go to a park. You can have it shipped right to your house. Or, yeah. you know, it's nice to visit a park and get one. We've got, we got this one at a state park. Yeah, it's going to be fun just to see kind of um keep what track are behind yeah, each one. and keep track of where we've been instead of just and some of these we wouldn't have even known about you know if we didn't get this there's so some small ones you know so like there's some falls there caverns i, I didn't know about those so yeah we're just going to try to make more trips in texas this year we tend to oh fly in the way <laughs> but yeah we'll um we'll take some photos along the way and We'll keep revealing the scratch-offs as we go. Yeah. and You'll find the colors out when we find them out. Yeah, it'll be fun. So, anyway, that was our little Jeep reveal. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're yeah. so excited. Um, I just, I'm ready to go on some back roads. Yeah. One thing I do plan that you may not have thought about is I do plan on finding some sort of winch for the front mm -hmm. just in case we get a little too far off-road and we need a little yeah help. i think that's a great idea yeah. maybe um 
Maybe that could be your birthday present. Hey, and um, I got you a winch for your birthday. A 12,000 pound. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I had someone pick it up. It's going to go right there. Boom. Gonna look awesome. I already thought about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. I'm going to wrap it up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Even the birds are laughing. Thank you.